guys, a very welcome back to Mentor and yet another video podcast. I hope you're all doing great. It's fantastic to get feedback from you guys. I've gotten loads of feedback on my previous video about rejected takeoff. Uh, it is my absolute will and my ultimate goal to try to do much more of those videos. I really want to, to be able to find and rent a good simulator so that I can do all kinds of cool stuff regarding non-normals, normal operation, pre-flight, maybe do a complete flight from A to B. All of that is things that I want to do when I, um, I can gather the funds enough to, uh, to actually rent the simulator. That might take a bit of time guys because I do realize that. But that's my goal anyway, that's what I'm working at. But in the meantime, I'm gonna to continue to produce videos um, and uh, I really want you guys to interact. So go down, write your comments, press that like button if you like what you're seeing and also keep coming with suggestions because actually today I am basing this podcast on a suggestion that I just received via my Facebook page, which is about um, security on the flight deck and when you are allowed to access the flight deck or not. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, so basically, I want to start this by explaining a couple of things. First of all, after 9-11, the policy when it came to um, visiting flight deck has changed dramatically. Unfortunately, prior to 9-11, we were able to take you guys, the enthusiasts, in. You could sit on the jump seat, you can fly, you can do both takeoff and landings. It was not a problem. It's really up to the captain to decide. But after 9-11, um, we just don't do that anymore. We don't know which ones are genuine flight enthusiasts and which are not jobs that could endanger the safety of the flight. So basically, most, if not 100% of all major airlines, does not allow anyone who is not certified to be entering the flight deck during flight. Okay, so that's the sad truth. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me if for, you know, how we know if it's a flight attendant that's coming in or if there's someone else coming in. And unfortunately, that's, that's just information that I can't give out. I can't explain the exact procedures to, um, to enter the flight deck for obvious reasons. Um, they differ from different airlines. Uh, there are quite a few airlines who's installing cameras in the galleys to make sure that the, the galley is clear before they open any door. We do have the uh, locked flight deck policy with the new doors, as I'm sure you've seen, which are bulletproof. Uh, they are lockable from the inside. You can deny any entrance or any access code being entered. Anything can be stopped through that door at the moment. So that's, that's the kind of barrier that we have between the flight deck and our cabin crew and the passengers at the moment. And there is no way that you guys will be able to get into the flight deck during flight. In my airline, in most of the other airlines, there might still be some regional operators in different countries that might allow you, you can always ask, but you shouldn't expect to be let in during flight. However, before the flight and after the flight, you can always ask the flight attendant if they can ask the captain for permission to enter the flight deck. Because when we're on the ground, it's a different thing. I personally love to get people in, providing there's time enough so that we don't, we're don't we not under really bad time pressure. You're always welcome to come in and say hi, explain your story, and in some cases as well, and this is also very much up to the captain, take a picture, okay? Um, but you're gonna have to ask the flight attendant first, and she is going to, or he is going to, send in that request to us. And depending on how the workload is and stuff, we will then say, yeah, sure, send them in, or no, we don't have time today, ask next time, and you, I'm sure that you will, okay? But I would say I'm, I'm almost certain that I speak for most of my colleagues when we say that we really want to let you guys come in and have a look. Because I remember myself, I remember the first time that I was let into the cockpit of a 737. I was, uh, I was then flying from uh, Stockholm to Sundsvall with a, um, a Boeing 737, uh, flying for Scandinavian Airlines, and they let me sit from, from when we taxied out until we landed in Sundsvall, and it was a fantastic experience. It's something that I would love to give all of you guys, but unfortunately, with today's rules, it's just not possible to do. So, if you have questions on this subject, then please send them in. 
if you haven't already, then press the subscribe button. And also tell all your friends about this channel. Share this video on Facebook or on Twitter. It's all really appreciated because I'm I am constantly trying to to grow the channel and grow the grasp of who gets to see these videos. Okay, so ask your questions. I'll see if I can answer them or not. It's depending on how deeply into the um, safety procedures you ask, uh, but I'll certainly do my best. For now, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.